y'all doing? How you doing? How's your mama doing? I know y'all heard about the whole Chris Brown and Drake shit up in uh, what New York about 4 a.m. Thursday morning about over Rihanna. Now I'm a, like I'm gonna say this: if you fight over a female, then you're a piece of shit. You're not a man, you're a punk ass, a dick and a booty ass, a dumb ass. I think your nuts should be cut off if you're going to fight over a female. If she ain't fucking you or if she ain't fucking you, sucking your dick, married to you, married to you or dating you, then why are you fucking fighting over a bitch that ain't with you? Unless if she's your sister or your mama or your aunt or a relative. You can find them if they just find your relatives. But if she ain't date you sucking your dick giving you some pussy, then what the fuck you fighting over for? Then what the fuck you fighting over for? They say the incident happened for the for, like early in the morning that Drake and Chris Brown were sitting off in a VIP and Drake was pointing and yelling at Brown and Brown was yelling and pointing at Drake. And next thing you know it is next thing you know it is a bottle flew across the room and it hit Brown because they was just fighting because of Rihanna. Now look, Chris Brown, you already got in trouble because of Rihanna. You already got in trouble because of Rihanna. Why the fuck? Are you going to fight over her again? I don't get you. You are, Look, I don't get you, man. Fighting over a damn... Hold on. This is funny. Chris Brown tweets this picture. This picture you see. And he should have wiped the damn snot out of his fucking nose. Look, man. That's a big ass... He could have got went to the doctor and got this shit fixed. But he was a dumbass. Thought he was being bad and bold. He he tweeted this picture and said, "How you party with with niggas that hate rich niggas that hate? How do you party with a dumb rich ass nigga? You can't. You can never party with them. See, like this is why other minorities call black folks niggers. It's because how black folks act." This is why there's so much stereotype in the world because people back that shit up. Now people, now see, this is like like when people say, all oh, black folks, all they do is be on welfare and fight and sell drugs and drink more liquor. When you see this shit on TV or pick up a newspaper and you idolize stars that do this shit, you get offended with somebody who says it. That's how black folks do. It sell drugs, drink more liquor, get in fights, and shoot each other. And every day, black folks make it makes it true, more true than ever. Same with white folks. When white folks say, when people say, "Oh, white folks ain't nothing but inbred rednecks." Inbred rednecks, the only f or or in rednecks they like to fuck animals. They make it more true by doing it. You can say all oh, this shit ain't true, but it is getting to be more true because y'all are making it true. Same with Latinos or Asians. When the stereotypes are out there you make them more real than fake especially when you are in the entertainment business you are making stereotypes more real than fake this is why people think black folks are nothing but thug ass drug dealer pimps Slip malt liquor drinking, Kool Aid sipping, watermelon eating, picking cotton, motherfuckers. Just because fuckers like Chris Brown Drake 
Chris Brown and Drake can't work things out and make black folk. You can't say Chris Brown and Drake can make black folk look bad. But when they act like this in the spotlight, it makes it more true. Oh, dude, we hit the club. Doesn't matter. They knew the risk. They knew the fucking risk. Every time a celebrity steps out and goes to a nightclub or goes anywhere and something break out, their name will pop up. So, and you fighting over a female. I'm, I, like, look, dude, there's kids Look, man, what was it? A few few weeks ago, or a few days ago, a black kid got killed over a damn girl down where I'm from, down here where I'm at. Some dude got killed over a fucking girl. If that, if, if it would have been, and they say it was the entourage that was doing all this fighting, and Chris Brown got hit in the chin. Now think about. If one of Chris Brown or Drake's entourage would have pulled out a gun and shot them both, would have shot them both over a fucking female. Y'all probably like, they're a damn fool for fighting over some damn girl. I know that's what y'all thinking now. They're a damn fool to fight over a girl. Especially Rihanna. Like, one thing is, Rihanna's cute. I thought she was cute back when she first came out. It's like, damn, she cute, she fine. But now she's starting like, do I really want to? I don't know, man. She's starting to act a little flaky. But for real, over a female, you break into a fight over a female. I mean, uh, I'm telling you, man, there's bigger things in life to fight uh, than fighting over a damn girl, man. I'm for real, there's bigger things in life to fight over, but a fucking woman is not one. Like Jay-Z said, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. How come these, how come motherfuckers don't never pay attention to that? I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. They should have been on Chris Brown's playlist. They should have been, he should have been in his book. He should have sat there and remember and said, you know what? I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one because I got a restraining order. I got sent to jail. That's that's few. It's out of the list of 99 problems I got. I got a Tim problem. But they get in a fight over a fucking girl at a nightclub. Now, you know what, man? I'm just waiting. Now. I'm going to say this. I'm going to be honest, very honest. Because I'm, I'm waiting for this to happen anyway. Because you know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. One day. One day Chris Brown. Is going. One day Chris Brown is going to piss somebody off. And they're going to put a Tupac on his ass. And just bam. I'm for real though. One of these days he's going to piss off the wrong people. And he's going to get killed. Or. See, this is why I hate the limelight so much because dumbass people get all that power and they forget who they really are. They forget to who they really are. But I say, I tell you this: Chris Brown should have took that that little whatever he said said on Twitter. How you party with rich niggas that hate? How good question? How do you party with rich people that hate? He could have answered that question on his own. Because he got money and he hates. Oh, Afro Joe, you being so harsh about Chris Brown and Drake. You ain't heard me talk shit about Drake. You ain't heard me talk shit about Drake, but they but they in the, in the music business. People are starting to sell Chris Brown again. But do you really want to get back down to over a fucking female, man? 
over a female. That's one thing I don't get, people. Look, you're grown ass men. And if you fight over a damn woman, then you got a serious problem. I guess I can understand if he would have smacked smack the shit out your mama or your sister. But if you fighting over a girl that ain't giving you no head, no ass, you got a serious problem, son. I'm for real. It makes no damn sense that grown... See, they can't call themselves grown if they're going to fight over a girl. You can't call yourself a man if all you do is going to argue over a fucking female. Oh, that's my girl. That's my girl. I don't give a fuck who girl is it. Because they ain't now... Who gives a fuck if whose girl is who? I'm telling you, man, fuck us the day. I'm going to post this story in the description box. But it's like this. They both was in the wrong. A few of the people from the entourage are in the hospital. There's a few people in their entourage are being injured. I've seen one picture when it been, one of the guys was injured so badly, man. That he his head was bandaged, but it's like this though, man. Fighting in the club over few. That's why he's after you. You saying like a broken record? I know, but you gotta realize if I how can you take them serious? Oh, I'm a serious. I, I can't take you serious if you gonna fight over something stupid at a fucking club or beat a woman. Your wife beat a man. I, can't, I don't even listen to Chris Brown, man. I don't even like Chris Brown. When he first came out, give me that, give me that, give me that. I was like, oh, cool, little, little light-skinned boy. Trying to be like Michael Jackson, cool. Then Drake came out. What was that on Degrassi, whatever that show he was. He was an actor before he became a singer. That, that's, that, hold on, I'm going to say this about Drake. How do you become an actor... And say fuck acting and go straight to music. There's no money in music. Why do you think so many uh, so many singers went into acting? Because that's where the fucking money is, dumbass. That's how it is. You don't say fuck acting. I'm going into singing. I would have said fuck singing. I'm going into acting. That's where the money is. But it's like this though. It's like this though. Please stop analyzing these people. Like, I want y'all to do this. I did a video about uh five entertainers. Paul Moody, Just Vitor, Christopher Titus, uh, Eddie Griffin, and Dick Gregory. And I put several links to their their video on that on that on there. On that video, and I want you to go down, and I want you to look at the Paul Moody uh, link. And just watch the video all the way through, cause I'm sitting up here tired of people kissing these motherfuckers. Hey, oh, I love Chris Brown. Oh, he don't beat women no more. He don't beat women no more. Oh, I love Drake. See, when you idolize these people, man, that means your life is very, very short and boring. That means you're obsessive. You're obsessive. You got you have when you have an obsess, obsession with people. That means your life. You don't have you don't have a life. Or oh, what about you, Afro Joe? You got all these Wookie pictures. That's because that's who I am. I'm Afro Joe the Wookie. Look at my name, Afro Joe the Wookie. That's my motherfucking name. That's who I am. But, but when you idolize celebrities, that means your life is dull. When you look up to Chris Brown, Drake, and Rihanna, like fucking start like a, like guys, you got a fucking issue. 
every day it's the same old bullshit with celebrities and y'all motherfuckers keep still keep kissing ass I don't see not now one of y'all sitting up there oh I love cause one thing is I like watching I like uh, them old school actors and singers they got enough common sense to say you know what I can't work with Chris Brown or Dre or Rihanna they can't keep up with me like Big Daddy Kane Sugar Hill Gang. I'm 27. I know. I know who these people are. Five Finger, Five Finger Freddy. Come on. I don't. <laughs> but these, I'm telling you, man, these people today, man, don't know what music is. Snoop know it well. He he came out in the 90s. Oh, uh, but Ice, like, people like Ice T. Oh, Ice T didn't bust a lyric in so long. But that's old school. All that damn. Look, man, this is how it is, man. Chris Brown and Drake need to sit their ass down somewhere before they end up getting shot. Because I, I do not want to go through this whole Tupac and Biggie shit again. For real. I really don't. If your dumb ass is going to fight over a girl for no fucking reason. Take that shit to a box ring and box that shit out because hearing about it, two motherfuckers in a club fighting over some girl is not worth watching or hearing. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to see Drake, Drake, and fucking Chris Brown boxed out in a motherfucking ring right now. Fuck that Billy Jack bullshit. Let them box it out with none of them padding shit and. That's how. That's what I want to see. Cause I'm tired of this, man. Go a little old school, man. Cause one thing is, it's time for people to grow the hell up. It's time for people to grow the fuck up. Uh, I just don't get people. I really don't. I just don't get these people. They get money and they lie. They get this money and all this shit goes to their head. I hate when they do that. I hate when people do that. Go, They, they say this bullshit start. Oh, I went from rags to riches. No, you went from rags to bullshit. Because when you let that damn money... Go to your fucking head and makes you a bitch. What was that movie called? The Players Club. Remember at the end? When the girl the girl was working at the shoe store. And her cousin say, make that money, but don't let it make you. That's what these damn celebrities doing today. They don't even take that advice. Make that money, don't let it make you. That's all they doing. They letting this money make, make them. Their money is deciding on who they are and what the hell they gonna do. I'm just tired of listening to this bullshit about Chris Brown or any other celebrities that's acting a fucking fool. Hey, if they're going to court, fine. Let them go to court. It's none of my business. It's none of my motherfucking business on who who they suing. It's not. It's really not. If they got, if they were found, if Drake and Chris Brown were fighting in the club, bust their ass, take their ass to jail, and prosecute, whatever. Cause I ain't gonna be sitting up here, wanting to listen to that bullshit. Or let them box it out in the fucking boxing ring. And that's how it is. Cause I'm tired of this bullshit. Every day is the same old, same old with these motherfucking celebrities. Every day. Damn me, is getting on my fucking nerves. Dumbass rich, rich people getting on my fucking nerves. See, see, that's all it is. And like I said, like I said before, man, they are. See, this is why people think black folks are nothing but gangbangers because fuckers like these people. Like Chris Brown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tell me, look, like, if you like what you hear, tell me what you think. If you don't like what I got to say, then move the fuck on. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my ch subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior Two and CeeLo Junior Three. Tell me what you think, and if and leave a video response.
piece and about a hair grease. I'm telling you, my motherfuckers today. <laughs>